Hello brothers and sisters in Christ. Thought I'd uh, do a little uh, talking as I'm watering. I wanted to do an update on the ministry. Sorry, I had to go out of the camera view a little bit. Update on the ministry. Right now, I'm using a camera that's really Stone Age. And I gotta get a new one. Somehow I gotta I got a little bit of money coming in this month and I just found out I got some huge trees that are leaning towards the house in the backyard and I've been trying to turn this into a garden. So a lot of that money is probably going to go to have people come cut the trees down for me. Because when they're leaning, they're kind of dangerous to cut down. So there's that. The little camera I've been doing my walk and talks with, it's no longer working. <laughs> I can't upload. I can't upload videos anymore onto the computer with it for some reason. It just just really, really doesn't like me uploading videos. So, so I need to get a new camera. And the biggest thing, and I'll show you, I'll probably sneak a clip in or something, but this camera is really Stone Age that I've been using, but it was free. So I was praising the Lord for it, and he was helping me do videos and everything. But I'd like to, and I don't know if you brothers and sisters Christ would like to, but I want to do, there's this huge back road where there's tons of spots that's just beautiful views. But this camera, the mic that's on it, picks up every noise, the wind, everything, hardcore. Wind! Come wind! I forgot this is like a wind tunnel. <laughs> and it doesn't have a connection to hook like one of those little boom mics, those little lapel mics that have the foam on the mic that help repel the wind noise and stuff like that. So if you guys have any ideas, you've done some research, I just need a small camera that will record video and I can take it outside with me and everything and has a connection for one of those little mics that I can run down and hook to my uh, shirt. That way I can do Bible studies right on the beach, I can do Bible studies along this back road, and I can do more versatile Bible studies instead of just being stuck in my house or on the deck or whatnot. Because even back here, since I cut down a lot of the trees, let me show you brother, sisters. I cut down a lot of the bushes and stuff like that to open it up so the sun will hit. Uh, I'm going to put in th uh, two more raised flower beds in here. And ever since I did that, the wind back here picks up. And if you watched my uh, uh, video on uh, my apologies to the brethren and warning to the single brethren, you heard the noise come through and everything. And it's because this thing picks up wind just like that and it takes over the volume. So I need some, because uh, I looked at some Canon cameras that have the connection and everything, and they're ranging anywhere between six to eight hundred dollars, and they do all this high tech stuff, and I just want to uh, be able to use the mic. I mean, if this had a connection for the mic, I'd use it. But lately, this camera, if it runs for thirty minutes to an hour, it starts getting really hot. So I'm guessing it's just getting old. And like I said, I use an old cell phone that I have it on, uh, what do you call it, like flight mode or whatever, where it turns off the Bluetooth, the internet, Wi-Fi, all that stuff. And I only use it for my walk and talks because it's so easy to hold when you do the walk and talks. So I did a couple walk and talks and I went to try to upload it to my computer and it won't upload. It just won't upload. It's like they don't recognize it. I can play the video on the phone. It works just fine, but when I try to download it to the computer, it doesn't register if there's any videos there. And I'm just getting sick and tired of that thing. And I just got to start investing some money um, when I can get money built up into buying better equipment to do videos. So, and it's driving me nuts. One of my video programs, the ones where you can watch the desktop and you have your little square video of yourself and you can play videos and explain them or correct them, you know, refute them or something like that. 
and that program I did did one I'm like okay it looks good and I switched to the rendering side and it just kicked me out of the program completely and all that time wasted and I tried like two or three times and it just kept kicking me right out of the program and it's like really so I've been struggling with technology I really have I'm not a big fan of technology that much anymore so it just seems like the simple stuff we want, no, 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 we got to add like 50 million things it can do when you only want it to do one thing. So that's what I've been struggling with. So please pray for me. I've been working a lot on the property, a lot more this year than I have any year. And my knee's really starting to hurt. I have a broken bone on each ankle from the military. And I've been doing a lot of walking and it doesn't bother me to the most part. It's just at night when I lay down to go to bed and go to sleep, my ankles start hurting. Um, so if you can pray for my health and my knees and my ankle, I'm still supposed to have 20 to 30 good more years in me to work on this hillside. And um, So that's the big thing about this update. I just need to get better equipment. So if you have any ideas for little small cameras to hold that's not that expensive for my walk and talks, and um, a camera that I can take outside as well as do it in my office and videotape and for outside it needs to have the connection where I can connect a boom mic. Um, it'd be cool if I could connect the phone or the phone, connect the camera straight into the computer without having to take out the memory card. <laughs> That'd be cool. But um, just something inexpensive. I really can't afford anything that's six to eight hundred to a thousand dollars. I mean, it can be an old model, but as long as it's got that connection, um, it can be a newer model. As long as we can find something that's you know under five hundred dollars would be nice. Um, but yeah, hopefully in the next couple months I can get a new camera, and it'll help out. And I'll start what's left of this summer trying to do Bible studies all over the place. So. If you notice when I stand, I can't really flip through the Bible that well and stand and hold a note. I'm just not that good. So I'll hold my notes in the Bible when I'm standing. Um, but I love my brothers and sisters of Christ. Keep praying for this ministry. Keep praying for me. Um, my prayers go out to you, brothers and sisters in Christ. I, this is just a ministry update, but I'll do a little bit of encouragement. One of the biggest things that uh, I believe Christians today truly saved, Bible-believing, God-fearing Christian men and women that don't compromise. That's the key, that don't compromise. One of the biggest things you're going to be suffering for Jesus Christ is loneliness. Uh, I had a brother in Christ, I think it was Brother Brian, King James Video Ministries, he did a great study called Loneliness, I think, in the life of a Christian. And in these last days, if you don't compromise, you're going to find that you're spending a lot of time alone. If you're single, uh, you got nothing in common with the lost world. You have nothing in common with your lost family members, and you lose a lot of your lost friends, if not all of them. And the only time you can really have fellowship is when you're emailing people, writing letters to people, making comments under people's videos, and it just gets very lonely. Yesterday, gosh, it hit me hard. I was sitting on the deck, and I just started getting depressed. And I start talking with the Lord and start praying, listening to some hymns, and God lifted me up. I, I usually get exhausted, I mean completely exhausted, by like 9 o'clock. And I'm trying to drag into bed, read some books, read the Bible, and get to bed. But last night, the Lord kept me up to almost 11 o'clock. We sat out on the deck. We, all the stars are out, especially since we're outside of town. I'm talking about just, you couldn't even count the stars. They're leaving the little small ones around, tons of them around the, the big ones, the dark or the brighter ones, and I got to see a huge shooting star. I got to see a couple lights that were moving through the sky, and I sat there and got to talk with the Lord, and He showed me something great, and He lifted me out of that depression, and and lifted my spirits, and and really helped me, you know, and just as an encouragement, you know. You're not the only ones out there that if you're feeling this loneliness and getting depressed about the loneliness, there's tons of us that are feeling that. Just get with the Lord. Uh, we're always going to go through it from time to time, and the Lord will bring you out of it. Okay. He'll get you out of it. So, um, my, let's see. Peace, grace and peace be with you from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ, and my love for you in Christ Jesus our Lord. And I will see you whenever we do another video.